Hey everybody, welcome back. My name's Wyatt, and today I'm going to show you how to script a conveyor belt on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, first I want to show you how it works. So, if we run the game, all we have to do is move this part on top of the conveyor belt, and it'll start to move forward. And then, if we move it over to this tiny conveyor belt, and we move it up, it'll start to spin in a circle. Okay, so now that you know how this script works, I want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we have to do is actually create our conveyor belt. So we'll add a new part to the workspace, and we'll just scale it up a little bit, just so it looks more like a conveyor belt. We can color it to black also, just so it comes off more like a conveyor belt. Now let's just name this script, or this part, conveyor. Now we're going to create a script inside of this, and the script is what's actually going to make it move whatever's on top of it. So anything that's unanchored is going to move on top of this conveyor belt. So if we just create a script, and we can just name this conveyor script. Conveyor script. Now this is actually a super easy script. It's a one-liner. So all we have to do is say script dot parent, which is the conveyor, dot velocity equals so velocity takes a vector3 value, so we say vector3 dot new, and then we give it the parameters, so the x, the y, and the z, and in this case, as you can see, this conveyor belt is going in the z-axis, so I'll just set z to 10. And now if we just create a part, make sure it's unanchored, and let's just run it. If we move the part up, You'll see it starts to move. So now it moves this way, but maybe we want to make the part move the other way, and the way we do that is since it's on the same axis, we just say negative 10. And see right here, it moves backwards just like that. Now this is pretty cool, and we have it moving in one direction, but now maybe we want it to move in the x axis and we want to move it like this. So to do that, all we have to change is our first parameter. So if we say the x equals 10 and we'll set the z back to 0 and we run this, see if we pick it up, moves that way. Now, just like before, if we set this to negative 10 and we pick it up, just like this, we'll move the other way. So this is a really cool script and a really easy way to make a conveyor belt, but you might not always want your part to go straight forward. Maybe you want it to rotate. So the way we can actually create a rotating conveyor belt is by using a property called rot velocity. It stands for rotational velocity. And we'll, the way we can do that is I'll just create a new part right here. I'll make a cylinder. And we'll just put it up like that. And I'll just scale it a little bit. And we'll make it black like before, just to make it look like that conveyor color. And now we can name this rotational conveyor. And let's just anchor this and create a new script inside of it and call it rotation script. Rotation script. And now we're going to do the same thing as before, but instead of setting velocity, we're going to set rot velocity. So if we say script dot parent dot rot velocity equals, again it takes a vector 3, dot new, your x, your y, and your z, and if we want to make it spin on this axis, so it goes like this, what we do is we'll just set the y to maybe 3, smaller number, since it's a smaller area, and if we just run this, all we have to do is move it upwards, and as you'll see, it begins to rotate that way. Now, just like before, if we want it to rotate in the other direction, all we have to do is set it to negative, and you'll see, just like this, to rotate in the other direction. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I hope you learned something new about scripting on Roblox. As always, I have the Pasteman link and the Roblox model link for both the scripts in the description, and I'll see you later.